Dating when you're fat should honestly entitle you to financial compensation. And this applies to dating men and women because as someone who has dated both but now only dates girls, it's still a freaking problem. What I noticed is I was just so insecure when I was only dating men. And I think I was allowing the insecurity to just run my whole dating life. Whereas now I feel much more comfortable dating girls and I'm not leading with insecurity. Do not get me wrong, as a plus size person, dating women still does come with insecurities because naturally you sort of compare your body to the girls you're dating. And don't even get me started on the fat phobia amongst lesbians that's a story for another day all that to say regardless of the gender or whoever you're dating it all starts with your own confidence okay if you're not confident in yourself and your body and you haven't done that work to accept yourself you can't find that in somebody else you never will you're gonna need a bigger boat Whoa, my XXXXL, Colleen. I hope I use enough X's there. Let me get this straight. You jumped from riding the sausage to full-blown uh, taco muncher, and you're complaining that somehow, some way, that plus-size phobia is amongst lesbians as well? That doesn't make any sense. Maybe the problem isn't any kind of phobia. Maybe the problem is uh, you. I mean, are you not the common denominator here? And you're starting to say the same problems that you had with men, you had with women. Again, the same person is in both scenarios. That would be you. Listen, I'm not here to shame anyone on their dating preferences. I mean, oh, either way you're going to go, more power to you. But please, don't think that this phobia shaming is going to work. If it didn't work with the hot dog, it's not going to work with the bun. I would venture to say the only real difference now is that she has to front half the bill versus the guy pick up the whole tab. I don't know if this counts as a W for men or not. Before we move on, I want to bring attention to the fact that 79% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel. Come on, fam. You've seen my logo on other channels, and you're already here. Please hit that subscribe button and support the channel. It really helps out. Moving on. As a fat, we've talked about things that we're not allowed to do. Let's talk about some things that we are actually required to do as a fat by skinny people. It's like just kind of an expectation. We keep backing off of the fact that we're not allowed to think that anyone has a crush on us because we're fat and therefore obviously ugly, disgusting, no one wants to have a crush on us. You also have to have a crush on everyone else. And let me explain. Does anyone else feel like a lot of skinny people will flirt through you? Like anytime I talked to a man, like in high school, people would be like, oh, you have a crush? crush on him like that's so cute i literally don't like i was just speaking to him they're like don't even deny it girl like it's okay i see you and i'm like no actually i see you i think you have a crush on him and you're using me like having a crush and making it as a joke to as an excuse to talk to this man and that's like weird maybe this is where the like feeling of you know being fat and having a crush on someone makes you feel like, like a monster is because the expectation and the way the straight people make it seem like when you do have a crush is so uncomfy like oh my god she has a crush on you well i know a lot of fat people relate to this one you feel like you always have to be funny i think everyone expects us to be like melissa mccarthy rebel wilson like every fat person has to be funny. You know, sometimes I do feel like a joke to a lot of people and that's humbling. I mean, I kind of don't really hate it that much because then no one takes you seriously. Whoa, 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 wait up a second, Queen. She said that as a big girl, she has discussed things that she is not allowed to discuss. Really, I didn't know there were rules on that. I didn't know that having extra folds meant that they're subjects you can't touch. Why? Because those subjects are sugar-free or something? I don't think that logic applies. Also, you talking about how you being a big girl and everybody assumes that when you talk to a guy, it means you have a crush on him. This is a problem you're complaining about. You know what guys understand when they hear this? Big whoop. So what? Is this as bad as it gets? Seriously? It just shows how pampered women are. Men are actually ridiculed, especially overweight guys. Not just by other men, by women too. It's made very clear to overweight men to slim down. They need to get in shape. They need to do their part in order to attract women. Now, there are exceptions to the rules out there. There are probably plus size men out there who do attract women on the regular. But that would be the exception, not the norm. Most plus size guys don't get approached by most plus size women. It really sounds like this is a non issue in the grand scheme of things. And to be honest with you, Queen, making videos about this isn't going to make this issue go away, but showing that treadmill some love every couple days definitely can make all these issues melt away. No pun intended. Now, it can be argued that inside every big girl, there is a skinny girl deep down inside there trying to be heard. Too bad her voice keeps getting muffled out by all the cheeseburgers and french fries that keep coming down the pipe. Now, ladies, if that sounded kind of cruel on my part, I'm sorry, but being that heavy. 
HIV is a choice. It is self-inflicted. Very few of these issues are actually genetic. The way I just talked is the way men would talk to other men. When we want equality, that comes with everything. And not just some sweet parts. No pun intended. I feel like if you're fat, you're required to always like kind of come with a disclaimer that you're trying to lose weight. Like I feel like anytime I come in contact with like a new person, the fact that I'm on a weight loss journey comes up very quickly. But it's because I feel like fat people always have to be like working on themselves and like trying to like lose weight. And also if I like order a salad, people will be like, you're, who are you fooling? What do you want from me? I don't know. Or if I go to the gym, I just feel like ostracized. But you're also telling me to lose weight, but then you get mad at me for doing the things that help me lose weight. So like, what is that? What? Literally, are you okay? Apparently, if you're fat and in a relationship with someone who's skinny, you actually have to be a millionaire. I'll see couples on TikTok of like a skinny man who's attractive dating a fat girl, which all of the comments will be like, she must be fucking loaded. Like she has the most money in the world. Like if you're fat, uh, you have to date only ugly people or other fat people and society's standards as ugly. You show people like a picture of your boyfriend or girlfriend and they're like, oh, they're actually cute. Like, what do you mean by actually? <laughs> Nobody's seen the movie Hairspray, like with Zac Efron. I know it's like impossible of a concept to think that Zac Efron would find a fat woman attractive, but I don't know. I heard rumors that him and Nikki Blonsky dated in real life. So believe it, like you'd be surprised. <laughs> Oh, oh, that is so rich. Plus size women always have to be working on themselves. Oh, boo hoo. It is so terrible there. My XXXL Queen. Guess what? Thin people have to work on themselves too. In fact, what do you think? They just magically stay skinny? No, they have to work hard to maintain that weight. You don't think they don't like cupcakes as much as you do? Well, maybe not. The point is, they do want to indulge, but they control themselves. Just because you had no self-control doesn't mean they had the privilege of not living without self-control. I can't help but notice that she says that when she goes to the gym, she feels ostracized and people are upset her for doing the things that you need to do to lose weight. That is all in your head, sister. I'm sorry. I've been to multiple gyms and this girl has never witnessed people yelling at an overweight person. What are you doing here? Get out of here. That never happens. I have never heard someone yelling at somebody who's on a treadmill because they're overweight. No. In a gym, most people just mind their own business and keep on trucking. They are there for the same reasons you are there, sister. They want to have a workout, have a good sweat and go home. And let me tell you, this girl knows that you want to be a professional victim because you started complaining about how people would make comments if you're dating a skinny guy. And OMG, it's impossible for a skinny guy to find a plus size girl attractive. Oh, can't you see the double standards here? Um, excuse me, aren't you ladies also the same ones that say that you're tired of men using you as a fetish? Oh, I get it. You only said half the story. You see, you only like the skinny guys that are good looking to be attracted to you. But if there's an ugly skinny guy who's attracted to you, oh no, it's a fetish now. You see the double standards here, queen? That's like you going to an ice cream store and getting upset that the employee automatically thinks you are not interested in the sugar free selections no that's a lot of damage moving on fat women there are men that will give you the princess treatment but if i'm being completely completely honest i never go looking for them and i don't think that you should either the kinds of men that give princess treatment are the kinds of men that look at you as though you're like the epitome of exactly what they want yes that has to do with looks but it also has to do with like your personality, how you hold yourself, like a lot of different factors. And just know how you are now, you are someone's dream girl. I think you just have to ask yourself if the kinds of men that you are attracting, if they're the kinds of men that you will want. So many women feel defeated, but in reality, I feel like the best way to go about it is to enjoy life, know that there's so much more to life than just companionship. I, I'm sorry, I don't believe in soulmates. I don't believe that another person completes you. You are complete as you are. Companion is just that. It's a companion. It's someone to go through life with. And I'm not saying that that's not a beautiful thing. It is absolutely a beautiful thing. But I really feel like if you're enjoying life, then people will look to you as someone that they can enjoy life with. I used to spend hours communicating with guys on like dating apps and here and there, and I realized how much energy I was putting into it and how much energy I was taking away from all these beautiful, wonderful things that I could be doing in my, in my real life. I think we've all experienced a guy that has been 
trying to pursue us over and over that like lives in our dms and just will not take no for an answer okay there my xx xl size colleen this advice that you're giving other uh plus size women is very unhealthy for several reasons the first reason which is the most obvious is that you are telling them not to improve on themselves because there is a man who is going to want them exactly how they are that is a very destructive way of thinking they have issues and it's not just a self-worth issue it is an, an actual unhealthy weight that must be combated it's just going to bring a whole lot of problems i've mentioned it before on this channel how that it's not just diabetes it's also stress on your heart stress on your joints fatty liver problems to name just a few the second part of your advice that is horrible is this idea that prince charming is going to show up and has accept you the way you are why is it that women have this mentality where men must change for them men must accept them the way they are but women can be picky i'm sorry it doesn't matter if you weigh 110 pounds or 310 pounds you're gonna be picky because you believe that the world owes you something that you deserve xyz what you actually deserve what you've earned sister let me just say it straight if you put that energy that you said that you put into the dating apps or the energy you put into making this video if you redirect that all into let's say trying to achieve a healthy weight a lot of these issues that you're talking about wouldn't be issues not just that chances are you wouldn't have to wait for that one guy who's got that uh, big girl fetish for you to find love you could actually find love everywhere else and yes i hate to break it to you but your physical appearance does have a lot to do with the candidates that will show up for a relationship squeeze me oh no you did that kind of energy is something that is very much felt and there's a reason that we do not find that attractive and we have to remember when we're giving that energy and trust me i am not judging anyone because i have absolutely been there i realized my last relationship i fully like push things and move things along so so fast because i had that desperate energy don't be like me think of your life think of all these things that have nothing to do with finding the love of your life and and do those things go travel find a new hobby if you're like oh i don't have money fine take the time to learn how to earn more money there's so many things you could be doing with your time that has nothing to do with guys and i promise you when you're not looking for it i know everyone says that and it drives you absolutely crazy but when you're out there actually doing things and living your life that's when they find you and you have to ask yourself if the right man the perfect man the perfect mr right just for you were to come into your life right now would you be ready for him would you be mrs right for him and listen i can honestly say that i am still working to be that mrs right you can't control what other people can do but you can control what you do the world becomes a beautiful beautiful place when you get out of your own way and you start taking intentional steps towards creating your own reality because we do have more control of our life than we than we think remember we're all princesses all girls are princesses i really truly believe that bye all right, first of all, my supersized Colleen, not all girls are princesses. That's the mentality that we're talking about. That is the destructive part because you think you're all princesses. You all expect the royal treatment. Just because you were the size of Catherine the Great doesn't mean you're royalty, honey. Another thing, I can't help but notice that she kept saying, okay, work on a bunch of things. Work on traveling more. Work on getting your money. Work on expanding your portfolio or whatever you're going to do. About. Notice that at no point did she say work on your weight. At no point did she say work on becoming physically healthy. No, because they want to be rewarded for the bad decisions that they make. They want to be rewarded for their bad choices. This includes not just their choices in men, which obviously you mentioned that a couple of times, as to the wrong men that get attracted. Yeah, honey, um, the right men that you want are not attracted to you. But notice you're always talking about your attraction. You would said, oh, the things that you're not going to find attractive. Did you stop for a moment and think, hey, what if the guy that I want, the Mr. Perfect for my life, what if I become attractive for that person? How about that, huh? Notice that, like I mentioned before, women, regardless of their size, are going to be picky. They're going to say, hey, you know what? I'm attracted to this, this, and that. But at no point did she say, hey, become more attractive for that man. Become healthier. Go to a healthier weight. Listen, that goes hand in hand. You can't just push that off like it, will, it won't affect your life. It's definitely going to affect your life. Not just in the dating life. Think about how, how much you're going to save on your medical bills. I mean, I got to say it. You women think that you're all princesses like Ariel when you're really more akin to Ursula. 
I'm just saying, if you enjoy this audit, click on the video in the end screen for more content. If you would like to support the channel, please follow the link in the description to donate to our beer fund. Or like, subscribe, and share this video on other social media platforms. If you agree or disagree with anything about this audit, please let us know in the comments. I'm going to leave this audit right here. I'll see all of you in the next episode.